Get away! You hurry so I'll have to get attend you. Then don't, my daughter. What stain you are? I can dispense with it for lack of attention. We are only being what is due, you mother. Why must you go away in such a hurry? Because I can't be too careless. And no one takes the slightest thing to please me. I tell you, I leave you home, but discuss it. You do the opposite of my instruction. You have no respect for anything. And each one of you must have the same. Oh, 
just about to leave, but I'm glad to greet you. Uh, very, very good, please, brother-in-law. Let me add a first anxiety box and news about the family. Uh, what's happened last two days? How's everything and uh, how's everybody? Madam had a fever and a splitting headache day before yesterday, all day. And uh, how about Abdul? Abdul? He's well. He's mighty well. He's stout, fair, rosy lipped. <laughs> At evening, Madam had knowledge that she couldn't touch a single thing for supper. Her headache was still so severe. And uh, how about Tartu? <laughs> he dined alone before her and unctuously ate up two partridges as well as half a leg of mutton. Devil. Poor man. At night, Madam couldn't get a wink of sleep. The fever still racked her so. And we had to stay up with her until morning. And how about Tartu? <laughs> <laughs> Gently inclined to slumber, he got up from table, went to his room got himself straight into a good warm bed, and slept quite on his food until the next morning. Poor man. At last, she let us persuade her, and she got her courage to be bled, and then she was relieved at once. And how about Tartu? <laughs> he plucked up courage properly. He bravely entrenched his soul against all evils. And to replace the blood that she had lost, he drank at breakfast four huge drops of wine. Poor man. So now, they're both doing well. And I shall go straight away and inform my mistress how pleased you are at her recovery. Father, <laughs> 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 with your face. And although I do not want to make you angry, I <coughs> candidly say that she's quite right. Stop there, good brother. You do not know the man you are speaking of. Since you will have it so that I do not know him, but to tell you what sort of man he is. Brother. You would be charmed to know him. Your raptures over him would have no end. He weans my heart from every friendship, teaches me to have no love for anything on earth, and I could see my brother, children, mother, and wife all die and never care. Brother, your feelings are humane. Ah, if you had seen him as I first saw him, you have loved him just as much as I. He came to church each day, leaned on both knees, right opposite my place, and drew the eyes of all the congregation. I learned his poverty and who he was, and gave him gifts. But in his modesty, he always wanted to return a part. It is too much, he said, too, too much for half. I do not deserve your pity. At length, Harry bade me take him to my home. And since that day, all seems to prosper here. He censures everything, and for my sake, he even takes great interest in my wife. Valer, right? 
come and tell you the secret. Yes. What are you looking for? To see if there's nobody to spy upon us. <laughs> Maria, in you, I've always found a daughter beautiful and gentle, so I've always loved you dearly. I'm very grateful for your fatherly affection. Good girl. And prove to me that you deserve it by agreeing to me in all respects. To do so is the height of my ambition. Well spoken. And say to me, what say you are of Tatu? Who? I? Yes, you. Look to it how you answer. <coughs> Why? I'll say of him anything you please. Well spoken. Excellent. And say to me that all his person shines with noble merit and you'd like to have him by my choice to become your husband. Eh? Uh, eh? What say you? What did you say? What? Surely I understood you, sir. How now? Who is it, Father? You would have me say, has won my heart, and would like to have you become my husband by your choice? Tattoo. But, Father, I protest it isn't true. Why should you make me tell this dreadful lie? Because I need to have it be the truth. Let this suffice for you. I've settled it. What, Father, you would? Yes, my child. I'm resolved to grab Tattoo into my family, and for that he should become your husband. And since your duty, what are you doing to me? You me dropping upon a song. Upon my word, I don't know how this rumor got started. It was guesswork or mere chance. But I had heard already of this match and treated it as utter stuff and nonsense. What? Is that thing incredible? So much so that I don't believe it even from your head. I'm telling you just what will happen shortly. Stop. Don't you? Why is this in good earnest? There, there. Don't take your father seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you... No, no use. He won't believe you. If I let my hand go... Well, then, if I do believe you, and the worst for you it is. What, can a grown man with that expensive beard across his face be mad enough to want to... You have me! You've taken on yourself a sort of free from the that I don't like. I tell you frankly, girl. There, there. <laughs> <laughs> Now, be the 
anything to ward off such disaster. <laughs> but what? Tell him one doesn't love by proxy. Tell him you'll marry for yourself, not him. If this cartoon has charmed him so, why, let him marry him himself. No one will hear <laughs>
Would you help me keep my love alive and see you fly into another's arm before my very eyes and never offer to someone else the heart that you have gone? I'll go at once and do as you desire. Oh, very well, then. <laughs> but remember this, it was you that broke into this desperate past. A past? Enough! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Another one, I break your every bone. 